Hi, this is Philip, and today I'm going to give you a short tutorial on how to set up the VST version of Magic using Cubase, Reaper, and Ableton. Here I have an empty project in Reaper. I'll start by creating a new audio track to which I have my guitar connected. In order to use Magic in real time, I must select the monitoring switch so I can hear what I'm playing live. I will continue by creating a new software instrument track, which we will play using Magic. Now I will add Magic to the effects chain of the audio track. The VST version of Magic supports MIDI output directly from the plugin. Therefore, all we have to do is to add the audio track which is running Magic to the receives of the software instrument. The plugin is now ready for use, and all notes we play on guitar will be translated to MIDI and delivered to the new software instrument track. I will now show you how to do the same thing using Ableton. First, I start with an empty project. Then I click the I.O. button so I can enable real-time monitoring on my tracks. Now I add MIDI to the audio track which I have my guitar connected to. Then I select the audio track that is running MIDI in the MIDI From section of the MIDI track. Finally I add a software instrument to the MIDI track. Now all notes we play on the guitar will be converted to MIDI and delivered to the MIDI track. As you could see, the process was almost identical to how I set it up using Reaper. If you take the same steps, you should be able to set up Magic in any door that supports VST plugins. Finally, here is a screenshot of how I set it up using Cubase. The thing to watch out for here is to make sure that you do not have direct monitoring activated in the VST multi-track settings. If this is activated, you will not be able to use Magic in real time, as this will bypass all the effects on the channels. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any suggestions or questions, please feel free to contact me here at YouTube or by email. Until next time.